Hello everyone. I know it is weird that I am using text to speech, but this is how I can communicate with you guys for now. Well I recently discovered this game called 4D Miner and I noticed it have a really nice concept of 4D visualizing. One that years ago thought about and I think that this is the perfect opportunity to explain it to someone. 2018 I was 16 years old and it has been so long since this year. But there is something important for me about this year. I began theorizing about what we can't see. In that time I had a friend that we used to talk a lot about physics and quantum physics in general when we got to a subject. I told him that light is matter and I know it because it is sucked into the dark holes. But he disagreed and said that it was the particles somehow producing energy and making light out of it. Years later, I knew we both had right parts. Light is both matter and wave slash energy. But because of this our debate, I knew that black holes had something even more interesting. How many dimensions it have? From what we know it is a singularity. An infinitely small dot in our universe. So it doesn't have a dimension at all. A black hole is visible in any dimension since zero be the own black hole to infinite axis. A 1D dimension is just like a straight line. A stripe of the universe as if the whole universe was splitted into an infinitely thin string. A 2D dimension is like an infinitely sharp splitted from our 3D world 2D shape not possible to know its shape just like is impossible to know the 3D space shape and finally a 3D dimension is what we see where we live. We are not sure how to describe it in a 4D space like I said about 1D being stripe and 2D being a sharp split. But since we live in 3D and can't see the 4D dimension, how do we at least simulate it and maybe see a part of it? Well we actually is seeing a part of it but you got what I meant. Other parts of it. 2019, I got interested about the concept of the Tesseract and after days looking into that transforming cube, wondering why it is changing, came in mind a quick, though that changed everything hey it is not supposed to be all time, changing shape just like in our dimension. A cup remain the shape of a cup if nothing happens to it. A cube remains a cube, like that. So why is the Tesseract changing? After this, I began trying to understand what movement that 4D cube was doing, and it must not be translation moving from X to Y, but something else. What if it was rotating? At the time I got excited. I talked to everyone about this and wanted to spread my discovery as far as I could if I get lucky I can get back my old accounts and prove it was me, but for now. I want to say, I really wanted something that expressed my idea of fourth dimension. And when I saw the 4D minor game, I knew was it, was the answer I tried to explain, the way of visualizing other parts of the fourth dimension. Now that you know in kinda used with the idea put in this game for years, I will explain how the game actually works. The example used in the trailer is a good one. The 3D space split into a 2D plane where you can navigate in this 3D world by using rotation. In our dimension we have three axes, length, height and width. Let's call it XYZ, for now the position of XYZ can be called as a vector. A 3D vector, and what this game does is instead of a 3D vector, for space they use a 4D vector. Thus XYZW. To we navigate in the W axis the game have this axis, rotated in the place of another axis, these being X and Z like you would, to to look from front to left for example. But in the new axis, now that you're facing W, you can walk into the positive and negative directions of W but your X and Z won't change at all just Y, because you might need to jump around. Sadly in this game rotating to Y is not possible. It could be made, but probably for a game design choice. And to it don't turn into absolute chaos, you can just move W in the place of X and Z. Or you could just invert the place you're in upside down and when you leave the place, you would fall into the sky. Okay, nice.
we can see a part of the fourth dimension. But can we have a more accurate and complete view of it? Yes, M A N 2021. Bored in my room, I found a solution to this problem. Don't we look at 3D simulations in a 2D plane? A 3D game or a movie in a monitor. So we should be able to represent 4D in our 3D plane, am I right? I am right. But before I show how to do this, I need to explain something else. Did you know I was sponsored? In more unknown as a random piece of wood fallen in the deep ocean. I want to tell a way that you could possibly discover the vertexes, edges and faces amount of the most basic 4D shape. The most basic 0D shape is a single vertex. The own singularity, the most basic 1D shape is two vertexes connected with a line. The most basic 2D shape is three vertexes connected by three lines, forming one face. The, the most basic 3D shape is four vertexes connected by six lines, forming four faces, making a 3D object and finally the most basic 4D shape very probably have 5 vertexes connected by 10 lines forming 8 faces. Now that you know about this, now I will show you how to kind of visualize the fourth dimension just like we kind of visualize the third in a 2D plane. Okay, let's draw a tetrahedron the most basic 3d shape on this 2d plane now we did it let's hop into blender and create a new shape with more four lines to connect with the images vertexes with all having same vertex as origin and we are done here is my representation of 4d what do you guys think some things i showed in this video like this shape cannot be proven to be true sadly but most of patterns I noticed and explained are actually true, and you can try it for yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you think I'm right tell me how much you are hyped to hear more of my theories. But if you think I am wrong tell your theories down in the comments. Give a like and subscribe please. Man I just have 58 subscribers and been working a lot in many projects. But nothing is going forward. So if you would like to help me, in general, at least do the like and the sub. But if you're wealthy, help a poor guy in his Patreon and Ichio. The links are in the description. Thanks for watching and see ya.